How's it going, Knights of the Round Table? My name is Night Gamer Rex, and welcome back to Corpse Party. And, um, in the last episode, we finally got back into this room of sadness. Because every time I go in this room, something bad happens. There's a section of old newspaper on the floor. Read it. Yep. And it's just telling us what happened, so I'm gonna ignore that. Yeah, okay, I get it. I've already read this. I already read it. Alright, um... Well, I actually forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. I can't take this anymore. Sorry, I'm a little sick right now, so my voice isn't the best. <clears throat> that was Shinozaki's voice. Come on, Yuka. Let's go. Okay. Uh... Shiny. Yeah, there's blood on the floor. What? What is it? The floor is stained with a sticky residue, as if something, or most likely someone, were dragged down the hall. There's a metal tool of some sort lying on the ground here. Pick it up. Yep. Ah! Uh, acquired nail puller crowbar of doom! And I believe I know where I'm gonna use that, too. What is up with the wall? There's a large black stain on the wall. It looks almost organic, but it's not actually wet, and there's no indication as how it got there. Yeah. Use it here. Nope. I haven't played this in a few days, so I honestly don't remember where exactly I'm supposed to be going. Oh, that's right. I can use it on the boys' bathroom. Here we go. Board up tightly with hammer nails and won't open. Use the nail puller or crowbar of doom to remove the boards! Yes! Skills. Alright, Yuka. It's all yours. No need... <laughs> no need for you to hold it any longer. Good. That's a relief. I guess we're going in. There are no stalls. So what now? Pee on the floor. Do you have to go really bad? Uh-huh. Well, if you can't hold it any longer, then how about I wait outside and you do what you've got to do? No. I'll keep holding it. Okay, but don't strain yourself. But you've got to go. You've got to go, after all. <sighs> okay. The mirror is... There's a, <laughs> there's a nauseating smell emanating from the drain. Well, what's the note say? Those who choose to ignore the darkness that dwells in the hearts of man may be stuck forever in a loop. For in this world, there are some truths that simply must be known, no matter how disturbing. But curiosity can be deadly, and other truths are best left untold. Beware the messages of the dead, for there be curses among them. Curses that can crush even the strongest wills, demolishing all semblance of reason. If you wish to protect your sanity, take heed. Do not let your curiosity get the better of you. Do not read the victim's memoirs to their conclusion. Ew. Urinals are filled with an extremely unsettling amount of blood. So what now? Hmm.
What to do? <laughs> Excuse me? Huh? Sounds like... a camera? Ah, uh, who's taking pictures? Is this all sort of... some sort of game? Ah! Uh, Mary Shigi. You're okay. Huh. Mikita. You as well. I'm so relieved to see someone else from class. Yeah. Oh, the blood's there now! Huh? Ah! <gasps> what? What is this? Is it... Was it... A person? It's an awful sight, isn't it? Seems like pulver pulverized human remains to me. There's a bit of breast meat mixed in, so I'm guessing female. Never thought I'd see something so horrific. Makes me want to throw up. Yeah. At any rate... I'm glad you're all right. Have you found anyone else? I'm afraid I haven't. I only just awoke here a short while ago, and haven't encountered a single other soul. Same story as us, then. My sister and I haven't come across anyone else yet. So you haven't seen Mayu, then? No. Sorry. That poor girl. I'm sure she's in here somewhere, shivering and crying. I n need to find her. I need to be with her. I'm certain Suzumoto must be thinking of the same thing about you. How about we look for her together? No. If we're split up, that rises the odds of stumbling upon someone else. <coughs> oh god! I'm so sorry. Ugh. So I'm gonna so I'm going to continue with the search by myself. All right. But how about we designate classroom 1A as the official rendezvous point? If you find any of the others, tell them we'll all be gathering together there and we'll do the same. Sound good? Sounds like a plan. Big brother, what is that? Is it... throw up? It's nothing. Don't look at it, okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. That boy... He was... taking... I'm sure it wasn't what it looked like. Come on. Let's go, okay? Okay. Yeah. The smell of raw human flesh is wafting through the hall. It's extraordinarily strong. That's reassuring. Blood and stuff. Uh, save candle. I'm gonna save candle aside this crap. Still don't like this room, and I never will. I'll never like that room. Save candle. Safe candle. <clears throat> How I love my safe candle. Going down deeper into the heart of the school. Oh, that's right. I need to move this thingy. Uh. So I guess I'll just head back to uh, classroom 1A and see what I get when I go there. Going up. Hello? Does anybody want to kill me? Please say no. Classroom 1A. Well, what am I supposed to do? 
We should stay split up. That's the best course of action. Okay, here's where all the bodies and crap were. Yeah, there's still nothing over here. I've been through the entire school! Three times! This is... what, the third chapter? So yeah, three times. I've already been through this hellhole. Alright, let's, uh... I guess go back. Anything here? No. Okay. I guess I'll just go back. Since obviously there's nothing of interest anywhere. Hmm. Maybe I'll try the entrance way. See if anything's changed down here. Nope. To do so throughout each playthrough I've noticed or each chapter not playthrough each chapter I've noticed that one red door and then that one door with all the symbols on it so what I'm thinking is that come towards the end those doors will open and be accessible what am I supposed to do what am I supposed to be doing I don't understand and where did he go I don't understand what's happening. He went down. I went down. I went exactly where he went, but there's no one to be seen. Was he real? Is he actually there at all? See, those are the questions you have to ask yourself while playing this game, because you never can really tell. Because this game messes with your mind a little too much. What am I supposed to do? Is there anything in here that's important now? No? Okay. Being lost in a video game sucks. Because as a player, you're just like, wow, I feel stupid. But... What am I supposed to be doing? The heavy cabinets collapse across the floor here. The boards around it are creaking under its weight. Climbing over it would be far too risky. Well, I have to find a way around it then, or be able to push it off. Yeah, my friend came this way, right? So he's around here somewhere. So I'm gonna go look for him. Oh, there's a body here! Victim's Memoirs 2 of 5. I'm so cold. I feel like the heat is just oozing out of my body bit by bit. And then there was that sound that just won't stop. What is it? My ears hurt. I can't focus on anything. I feel like there's a thin film surrounding my entire brain. I found a dying message next to one of the corpses earlier. It said there was a hallway somewhere in here that changes its size appearing longer or shorter pretty much on a whim I wonder where it is I hate that I don't feel anything when I see human body anymore it sickens me hello 
The hell was that? I heard a bang, boom, and a baby a bop, and then... I think I did something right. Uh, 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 I don't like this game. It's scary. Okay, so what exactly did I just do? So, apparently somewhere there's a hallway. It just increases itself in length at will. Well, where is that? Huh. Then I heard a banging boom sound. Oh, it's here! What? The hallway. It got bigger. Yeah, it did. Oh, there's a body. It's the body of a female student. Attached to her breast pocket is a white student ID name tag. Musushigawa, girls high school, class 11 to 3. Mika Naruse. Shieta Nana, please be okay. I'm sorry, I'm so useless. No, girl, you ain't no sus. Okay. Let's go read how she died. Um, Mashamama. Skull cracked open with blunt instrument. So are they killing each other now? Is that what's going on? Exit to second wing. The door is locked. I have a bad feeling about what's about to happen. Okay, so that way is no longer accessible. It's great. So I need to find some means of opening that door. So there's gotta be a key somewhere over the rainbow. Bucket? Nope. I'm gonna search everywhere. What to do? What to do? What to do? Can I go in here now? No. Boom! Skills! Look at that nonsense! Sitting on one of the shelves behind the glass door is a tiny key. Unfortunately, the cabinet cabinet itself seems to be locked. Use the nail puller you found to smash the glass? Oh, I still have it! Awesome! Yeah? Crash! The glass door is now in pieces on the floor all around you. Acquired tiny key of doom! Regrettably, the nail puller broke on impact as well. Seems its usefulness has come to an end. Alright, so now we have the key to the wing. But unfortunately, um, I'm gonna actually go up and save. Because knowing me, I'd be the idiot who would just go. And then there wouldn't be a save point for like 30 minutes. So, save it as saving. Alright, now let's go down. And we're gonna go through the second wing. And I think that's where the outside area is. So, I'm wondering if my character's gonna be stupid. And it's like, oh, we're outside, blah blah blah. Um, we're just gonna follow along the pathway instead of actually trying to get in the grass. <laughs> Alright. As you guys can tell, I figured out what to do, because... I was smart and I decided to look around a little bit. And knowing this game now, the hallway's gonna be longer. Nope, here we go. Okay. 
exit to second wing. The door is locked. The tiny key of doom seems to fit the lock perfectly. Use it. No. The door to the second wing is now unlocked. Here we go! It is outside! I knew it! Ugh. It's freezing out here. A second wing, huh? Can't believe the school is this big. <laughs> Are you alright? Uh, I'll be fine. Maybe. There'll be a faculty bathroom in the second wing. Seems like we could climb this fence pretty easily and get the hell out of here. But look at these woods. It's like they go on forever. And they're completely surrounding this whole building. I guess now's not the time to be worrying about that anyway. First things first, let's take care of Yuga's predicament. Come on, let's go. Uh, uh, okay. So woods are surrounding this entire school? Uh... Yeah, I'm getting the same feeling. Whoa. This place doesn't feel right at all. The air. It's really thick. Yeah, I was thinking this place didn't feel right at all right when you walked in, so... I didn't have to smell any air. Excuse me. Uh, big brother, my head hurts. Feels like it's going to split open. Oh, shit. Every time one of the girls gets a splitting headache, something bad happens to one of them. So, either the boy's gonna die or she's gonna die. I hope he dies because she's just a poor, innocent little girl. But honestly, if she would... If he would die... She would be left alone, not knowing what to do, but if she would die, he would be able to carry on. So that's the predicament that's happening here. Mine too. And my ears are ringing. I don't think it's safe to be in here for very long. Do you want to wait back in the main building, Yuka? I definitely get the feeling you'd be safer there. No. Please, take me with you. Don't leave me by myself. Don't have my choice, then. Alright, no need to worry, okay? I'll stay right by your side. Okay. Uh, save candle. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here. So, if you nice enjoyed, please hit that like button. And also subscribe to become a Knight of the Round Table today. And as always, I will see you guys later.